It's going to be 2x and a squared. There you go. And looking at how rapidly the institutions of higher learning have been able to change and embrace technology, um, that's almost a, a hidden expectation or a hidden requirement for college. There are three questions on your packet at the top. Our environments still look like they did 50 years ago. Uh, so the focus then became on how do we redesign uh, the classroom into a learning center. We were fortunate to, uh, uh, with the leadership of Dr. Ross, to uh, have a measure, a Measure V bond that the community decided to support our rooms. Every single classroom in Bassett is fully outfitted. So we have no kid that has something that another student does it. So it doesn't matter what school you go to, what, what area of the district you live in, uh, every single classroom has the same uh, design and the same uh, tools. That uh, is a good feeling that, that our kids now uh, are, are getting all the tools that they need uh, to be successful. We ensure that as we grow into multimedia and digital curriculum delivery, you know, um, that it's not done in piecemeal, but that it's a robust environment where teachers who are early adopters can start and those who want to kind of ease into it could ease into it. If they're coming to school with, with their technology and they're coming to an old-fashioned room with old-fashioned technology, they probably say, well, what's going on? So, so we're, we're ahead of them, and, and, and that's a really good feeling to stay, to stay at that pace. Once you expose them to these environments, you can't take it away. And so um, we feel that giving them this you know, world-class learning environment it, it helps them understand that they're worthy of that respect.